the main goal why he started blogging is to be successful. And to be successful with blogging is not just an overnight journey. As for me, it took me two years. I've been in this blogging industry for four years. The Periscope.com is just one year old, which is my official website. Do I have other ones on the side? So for you to be a successful blog owner, there are six simple things you need to do. And these things don't just apply to blogs, they run wrong with every business. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you six simple tips that have helped me to become uh, help me to push my blog from nothing to something and these six simple tips other experts have also implemented these things uh, day in day out and this has helped them also spring up their blogs as well when you see successful bloggers, youtubers and content creators are there it didn't just take one night to be successful but consistency made it to enable just one video or one particular content to hit the internet and change the whole story of that blog their blog or any business at all. So in this video, I'm just going to share with you these six simple tips that you can use to start this that you can implement on your blog today and become successful. And if your blog is here to start, then you are in the right place to start implementing them from the beginning so that you don't make any mistake whilst you are going. So that's what I said. If this is your first time here, this first tech YouTube channel where I talk about blogging tips, how to make money online and other business ideas. So if this is your first time, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Like this video so the, the uh, YouTube algorithm will favor the video to so it can appear to more people who may need this sort of video. So and if you are old here and you've already subscribed, turn on the bell notification and now uh, let's get started and welcome back to this channel again. Now let's get started. So the tip number one is simply picking a profitable niche. So this may not apply to people who already have blog running, but if you are here to start a blog then picking a profitable niche is one of the best things you should do. So what is a niche? A blogging niche is simply the particular topic we want to talk about. Like on this channel, I talk about online business and blogging tips. On my website, I do the same thing, and that is the niche I focus on. To me, I see that niche as very profitable, so I have to put myself in the length inside by that niche and start working on that niche. And you, you can also do this, but some people often ask me that, okay, what if they pick the wrong niche while starting their blog? There's no problem. You can also change your niche alongside you. Like, I started off talking about just how to make money and cryptocurrency. But over the years, I realized that I'm in the wrong niche and niche is not working, with, work with, working well with me, so I had to change. And one thing I actually do on my niche that's to keep me going to date is that I made it so, I made my niche in a versatile way. Meanwhile, I don't focus on one particular topic of the niche, but I talk about the whole digital marketing as a whole on my website. That's why you see, you can go on my website, it is like affiliate marketing, digital marketing. So you can also do this. One thing of the key thing that actually guarantees your blogging success is picking up a profitable blogging niche that you need to actually generate more income for you. So what makes up a profitable blogging niche? Profitable blogging niche isn't a popular niche like entertainment. But I'm not saying entertainment is not profitable, but a profitable niche is a niche that has a targeted audience that there are people who are constantly demanding for that thing and is high in demand and they also have some good products you can promote in that niche to make money. That's what makes up a profitable niche. And a profitable niche, the most key part of a profitable niche is that it's a niche you, you love because when you like what you do, there will be nothing uh, stopping you from doing Like, I create content three videos every week. If I don't like this particular niche, number one, I will like ideas on what to talk about. Number two, I won't be pushed to come and create content as well. But this one, I love what I do, so I'm always happy whenever I'm creating content for you guys. So that is about the point number one. Pick a profitable niche and love the niche you pick and work on that niche perfectly and you are going to achieve your success. Now let's move to the point number two. Okay, the point number two is actually what I've seen a lot of bloggers actually find it difficult to. A lot of bloggers find it difficult with that. And that is knowing your targeted audience. You see, every topic out there, every industry out there have a, a targeted audience that they sell their product to like. If you are into selling of uh, baby creams, uh, baby food, your targeted audience are babies and um, mothers and not uh, grown men who don't care about any of those things. So whenever you pick a niche, one of the things that you focus on is that which people are interested in this thing, which geographical area can I get more people who are interested in this particular topic I'm talking about. Like when you come to my niche, I always use my niche as an example because that's what actually moves me a lot. When it comes to my niche, my niche has a lot of global audience that are interested in it. But there are some specific countries like um, United States, Canada, uh, and then Ghana, Nigeria, and other related countries that are interested in it. But among all of these, there are some countries that this niche actually does work well a lot. Like my content, they do uh, perfectly well when it comes to Canada, Australia, and Ghana, and Nigeria. These are the four countries my now, after identifying this for country, now you need to know which set of people are going to be interested in your content. You don't expect to uh, create uh, a mobile phone review video for a man of 60 years, 70 years. He doesn't care. He doesn't even have time to watch that mobile phone review. So whenever you are picking a niche, first of all, try to identify your targeted audience. And the only way you can identify your targeted audience 
is by doing niche rate. So before moving on to pick any niche, one thing I always advise you to do is that pick a niche that has a good audience and people are really interested in. Don't just pick any niche. And for you to know your targeted audience, you need to do a deeper research into your particular topic. So always do a deeper research in every niche before you pick that niche as a niche you want to treat. Don't just treat the niche because you like it, but treat it because it has people who are interested in it and there's a chance of making a decent amount of money from that niche. So in case you are worried about which blogging niche to start with, well, I'm going to leave a video in the description that will be talking about some of the most profitable blogging niches and you can also check it out. So now with that already said, now let's move to the point number three. So the point number three is simply focus on creating quality. So quality content isn't just determined by the uh, word count or how long that particular article is. The quality content is determined by how it solves users' problem. So if you like create a content of 10,000 words, if it doesn't solve a user's problem, it's not counted as a quality content and that's what Google is actually fighting. So one of the easiest ways to be a successful blogger is simply focusing more on creating quality content and providing everything you want to do. Focus more on the quality aspect of it rather than how long or short it is. And I've seen a lot of beginners making this mistake over and over again, whereby they focus more on writing a longer article instead of working on optimizing the quality of that particular article as well. A quality article may not give you enough ad revenue, may not generate you a, more, uh, a lot of traffic, but trust me, a quality article is what will bring sponsorships to your website. I believe a lot of bloggers out there are saying that we've watched a lot of videos about how to get sponsorships and other stuff as a blogger. You are not getting how. It's simple. The reason is that you don't have enough quality content on your website to attract sponsors. So once you have quality content on your website, trust me, sponsors will start coming from different, different edges of the internet. Like for example, I get a lot of sponsorship this that comes to meet me on YouTube. Even though my YouTube channel is barely a uh, few subscribers and on my website I don't get I don't have much uh, millions of traffic every month, but still I'm getting a lot of uh, attractions and I'm getting a lot of sponsorship. Reason being that is because I always bring out quality content and they are they love the quality content I put out and they know the importance of quality content and this is the same thing you need to apply if you are interested in attracting sponsorship to your to your website or YouTube channel. So that is it about the point. Number three here is simply focus more on creating quality content. Here's another mistake a lot of content creators or bloggers make and that is simply not promoting their content. So even though you have a quality content on your website or on your YouTube channel, without promoting it, nobody's going to know about your channel. Mostly if your channel is still below thousands or let me say below 10,000 subscribers. Like when I create content here on my YouTube channel, I share it on different, different social media handles. This like LinkedIn, Telegram, uh, Reddit and a lot of social media platforms. Why do I promote this? When simply YouTube alone can just suggest this content to a lot of people and they can all help me do the sharing. Reason being that for me to be able to reach my main targeted audience, for me to uh, get my business in front of others, I need to promote it so that those people will be aware of this particular business. And that is your promotional campaign. And when promoting your content, do not promote just on one particular platform. Assuming you create a content and promote it on only Facebook alone, you are just targeting 0.5% of the total audience you have on the internet. But when you promote through email, email marketing, uh, using all words of social media handles as possible, please like uh, Pinterest, LinkedIn, and Using different promotional strategies is going to give you more edge and give, get you more traction to your business because they are mostly when it comes to business related, LinkedIn and Twitter is one of the best places to actually promote such content and not Facebook. Facebook is an entertainment platform while LinkedIn and Reddit are fully business platform and most of the sponsorships I've got, gotten so far, I've got few from email and the rest actually came from places like LinkedIn and Twitter. And Facebook and all those places are just to get more traction and get more people to know your business. So if you think promoting on Facebook alone is enough for your content, then I just want to let you know that it's not enough to get more traction to your business. Utilize other platforms. is there, Twitter is there, and all these platforms, the most painful part of all these things is that all these platforms are free. So I wonder why a lot of people don't make use of those platforms. Meanwhile, they won't have more real-time audience as compared to Facebook, where about only one person can own 10 to 20 different accounts. I know I personally own two accounts. One is a backup account in case they close one because that's what Facebook is uh, fond of doing of recently. They close accounts a lot. So only me I have two accounts. Imagine if everyone on that platform have two, two accounts and you think they have some decent amount of audience. No, a lot of people have multiple accounts. Unlike Twitter and Instagram and the rest, people hardly create double accounts. They simply have one account and that account gets them 
doing what they do so that's why i always advise them whenever you create content promote it on multiple channels like this video i'm sharing here with you this is also an article on my website i'll be linking to it down in the description as well this is an article on my website that i converted to this video and i'm linking back to it and the article has more value than the video I'm not saying the video is bad this, but simply because the article is much longer. I can't explain everything in the video. The video will take hours and I don't need to create a video of one hour, three hours just talking to you. It may be possible in tutorial videos, but not in an explanatory video slide. So that is about the point. Number four here, focus, promote your content through multiple channels to get more traction to your business. So the point number five is simply utilize the power of search engine optimization. So what is search engine optimization? Search engine optimization is also known as SEO. This is simply the process of getting more attention to your business by ranking your content on the first page of Google. Talking of ranking on the first page of Google, not every content that ranks on the first page of Google gets a lot of traffic. Based on my research, you can also tell me your experience down in the description. But it's very necessary for you to get to that top page of Google and it's a key part because 90 to uh, 50 to 80 percent of people search things on Google simply hit on the first uh, results they get. And I believe you also do the same. Unlike some of us who we, we look for the most uh, attractive and most sensible headline to click, click. A lot of people just want to search on the else click on the first one, even though it may not be 100% accurate to the particular thing they are searching for. So that is as much reason why you also need to put your website in a particular place to get all those clicks to your website as well. So what, how can you utilize SEO? To utilize SEO is simple. You simply have to follow the Google uh, content creation uh, guidelines and also follow other search engines like we have been Yandex, Google Yandex is sponsored by Russians. So if you are targeting a lot of Russian audience, trust me, your website definitely needs to be on Yandex because that's the most used browser when it goes to uh, for Russians. So that is about the point number five. You simply utilize the power of search engine optimization to get more traction to your business. And in case you know nothing about SEO, I'll be linking to an article about search engine optimization in the video uh, in the first comment of this video and in the description i'll be linking to our search engine optimization playlist and keyword playlist because those two playlists will come together to give you more benefit and give you the edge and power to rank higher on the search engine of google one thing you must remember is that not every content can rank on that particular first page of google there are some contents that you know you will see them on the top 10 but trust me they are going to give you more traction like the video that gave the particular article that gave me the first sponsorship deal for flex clip was actually on the third page of google yeah on the third page and fifth position and that article is coming up gradually but it's not still up to my taste yet. but one thing i actually know about that video is that there's no way i'm going to take over the first page when the original website itself also have content around a particular topic that they asked me to write about for the sponsorship as well so that is about the point number uh, five days simply utilize the power of search engine optimization to rank on the first page of Google. As I just said, I'll be linking to SEO playlist and an, art, an art article about SEO on my official website as well. So now let's move to the final point in this video. So if you watch up to this extent, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, like this video, and tell me what you feel about this video down in the comment section as well. So the final point in this video is simply analyze and optimize. What do I mean by analyze and optimize? When it comes to the word analyze and optimize, there are a lot of things that you need to do around this particular phrase alone on your website. So the first one is simply you analyzing your website to see which content are performing best and rewrite something similar to this content or optimize them to get more tractions. That's simply what analyzing means. So every business added, they often go into their um, for, uh, their database wants us to get see what and what is doing or which product is selling most on their website so that they can get more to sell on that particular product which one is most in demand so that they can get and that's how your website also is there are some articles on your website that get the most traffic and there are some that they don't get traffic at all so when you go, the only way you can do this is simply analyzing your website using uh, things like google search console google analytics and google's um all other google analytics products or you can use uh, monster insights if you're on wordpress on direct WordPress plugin and that one also integrated with Google Analytics so I don't see any reason why you should be using those two uh, plugins if you already have Google Analytics so if you go into your Google Analytics right now you can go to acquisition and see what which of your content are performing best and my advice is that once you identify such content recreate other content related to them don't create on same title or same topic simply look for if you create about uh, 10 tips uh, 10 do's in that particular topic then you can create 10 don'ts as well like a step-by-step -step guide on how to make money with affiliate marketing then on same keyword which is 
affiliate marketing guide. You can talk about other things related to the affiliate marketing and interlink all these particular articles. And when Google sees uh, search linking, Google actually loves them a lot, so they are even going to help your ranking more. So that is about the point number three here. The point number six is simply identify, uh, analyze your website, identify the best pe performing articles, and re-optimize them. Now the other part of analyzing and optimizing simply. Look at the particular product, the particular affiliate product you are promoting that is giving you the most revenue. Once you see that that particular product is giving you the most revenue, know that during that period, that is the most popular and most trending product. Now, if you created one article on, let me say, how to, let me say, you bought, uh, the tutorial is actually about uh, tripod stand. Or let me, okay, let me use tripod stand as an example. And the first tutorial you created was how to uh, set up that tripod stand. Then your, your next tutorial could be, how to properly use that tripod stand, areas where it can be used, or 10 tips or 10 benefits of tripod stand. So there are a lot of articles that you can create around one particular topic. Like this topic on successful blogging tips, I've created two videos in it within two weeks. The first video was uh, mistake I wish I didn't do that in that blogging success. But different title, same topic, but this one is opposite of that. That one was highlighting the mistakes to do while you are not successful. And this one is telling you the things you need to do to be successful. You see that too? You see the importance of using same topics? And people who watch that video are likely to watch this video as well. Why do you think there are some channels when you go there are some content that perform well? And you can go to uh, some channels like Chindra channel. You are actually going to see that he created up to five different or seven different videos on the title chat GPT alone. Why? Because the first one worked well, the second one worked well. So he keep creating around that particular topic and that will give you more boost as well. My, my channel also I did the same thing. Early when AI started trending, I created a lot of videos, different, different videos about AI content and those things actually boost up my YouTube channel. And this exactly the same thing you can do on your website as well. Or any platform where you create your content. Simply focus more on analyzing and optimizing existing ones and also creating new ones around that particular topic. So anyway guys, thank you for watching this video. This is a final tip in this video. And this is your first time, don't forget to smash and subscribe button, like this video, share it with your loved ones, and don't forget to drop a comment for us as well. Without any said, have a nice day till we meet again.